for this hour. Thank God for his faithfulness. Oh, we can never be in any other better place than in his bosom. Mm -hmm. We bless God. Such a sweet God. There is no other name that can be given. Oh. That is able to overcome. That is able to do all things. But the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And that name every power must bow to. Yes. Every name must bow to. Yes. Every dominion must crumble before that name. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Today is a blessed day. Thank God for your life, for your family. Thank God that he is in control. And that gives me a lot of strength. Mm -hmm. To know that even in my weaknesses, even when I think I'm very vulnerable, God is awesome and mighty. Amen. It, it's what says in our weaknesses, his strength is made strong. Mm -hmm. So I do not care. If you are weak right now, you're vulnerable, you feel weak, or your, the situation around you looks uh, not the best. God is awesome. God is overwhelming. Amen. He has a plan. Yes. He has a time. Mm -hmm. And he has not forgotten you. Okay. Amen. 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 As God help us today, we're talking about the rejected stone. In the word of God, the rejected stone. Oh, there's something, something mysterious about the rejected stone. Mm -hmm. If you are a black sheep, if you are a rejected stone, if you are that one that it looks like everyone is against you, I tell you, you might just be that mysterious rejected stone. Mm -hmm. But every rejected stone, they become the head corner stone. Mm -hmm. They become the one, the entire fabrication, the entire building. They come to rally around. Mm -hmm. It becomes the anchor of that society, yes. of that family, mm -hmm. of that organization. If you are a rejected stone, if right now you are being messed up, let me tell you, God has a plan for you. Yes. Amen. God has a plan for you. Amen. He will turn things around in a mysterious way. Amen. The rejected stone always be, become the head corner stone. Mm -hmm. It becomes the one that the entire world will come and rally around. It might be a family issue. It might be a, a neighborhood issue. It might be maybe even your class. It looks like you are the one that will be the bottom of all. Well, as time unfolds, the Lord will start bringing things out. The Lord will start uh, uh, letting circumstances happen mm -hmm. that will turn the table around, yes. that will make it become suitable for the qualities God has given to you, those qualities the world never beheld, those qualities no one ever thought will ever be of any importance. The Lord turns the table around mm -hmm. and those qualities become the very ones that will make you the king, Amen. that will make Amen. you celebrated Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. So no longer lament, my brother and my sister. God is not unmindful. You are not an error, neither a surprise. Before ever you were conceived, God knew your weaknesses mm -hmm. and he also knew your strengths. Yeah. So if you are expressing any kind of weakness today or any kind of uh, uh, infirmity, you are not a surprise to God. Mm -hmm. You are not a disappointment to God mm -hmm. because God can never be surprised. He behold all things ever before mm -hmm. the idea of your conception. Yes ever came into existence. Mm -hmm. He knew it. And God also prepared what that we, what you call witnesses, what it can also do. He prepared that circumstances where that witnesses become strength. Mm -hmm. Amen, somebody. Amen. Now, as I was uh, looking at God's word, the Lord take, took my heart to the book of Judges. And in this chapter 11, book of Judges, chapter 11, there are many uh, cases in the scriptures where the Lord made the rejected stone, the kind of, uh, the one that was counted as not, the one that was driven away, later made them to become celebrated. We remember the case of Joseph. We remember the case of, 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 of uh, uh, Moses. Moses was rejected. Joseph was rejected. From a family of maybe 12 uh, brothers, and God knows how many sisters, 
He was rejected. He was almost uh, kind of assassinated, killed by his own people. He was thrown out and he was forgotten. But the Lord turned the table around. Yes. The Lord made famine. He allowed famine to come upon the entire earth. That the brothers that were very prideful, they had to go and seek help. Not knowing from this very one that they threw away. Mm -hmm. The same situation with Moses. He tried the much he could. They said, who need you? We don't need you. But he was the one that God later sent to come and deliver all those Hallelujah. that rejected him. Amen. We see the case of Jabez. Jabez, the mother, out of sorrow, she conceived him and delivered him. And he was a kind of black sheep in that family. But eventually, the Lord heard his prayers and prospered him, and it became the rallying point for the entire community. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Now, in the book of Judges, chapter 11, can we can go there, please? Book of Judges, chapter 11, I'm going to read from verse 1 to verse 8. We'll just go through it, and I, I, we are going to pray on this, my brothers and my sisters today, because I believe God is comforting someone, mm -hmm. and giving, empowering someone to know that, uh, God is going to lift you up. Amen. He is going to do what he says he will do. Yes. God has not uh, created you to be uh, a, a carpet others need to uh, uh, clean their legs on. Or to be the matching rug. No. God created greatness in you. Amen. It may be that these present circumstances happening in your life has not revealed that greatness. But circumstances will change. Mm -hmm. It will change. And those things that people used to see as weakness, the new circumstances that will come, it will be what is necessary and needed. And thereby, what was before weakness will become strength. So I will read from the, uh, uh, verse 1. Now this uh, man, Jaff, Jaff, Jaffta, it was... The mother, more or less, was uh, a harlot. Someone you would call prostitute. That's what the word of God say, said. So not even by his own uh, thoughts, but because of what perhaps the life the mother lived before getting married, that became a sticker upon him. It became, it became uh, a bondage. It became something like a, an ancestral error. Not of his own making. It became a problem to him. Mm -hmm. And he was rejected by his family. He was rejected by his kinsmen. He was rejected by his society. And perhaps the only thing that was open to him was perhaps to, 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 to die or to kill himself. But God has a way he does his things. Mm -hmm. I'll read from uh, verse 1. He said, Now, Jephthah, the Gileadites, was a mighty man of valor, and he was the son of an harlot. He was the son of an harlot, someone you call prostitute. And Gilead beget Japhtha. And Gilead's wife bare him sons, and his wife's sons grew up, and they trust Japhtha and said unto him, Thou shalt not inherit in our father's house, for thou art the son of a strange woman. That are the son of an harlot. Because of this, you are not going to inherit anything with us of our father. Mm -hmm. They trusted him out. He was, he was a good person. But the problem was that he had a sticker on him. It could just be everything looks right, but there's a sticker on you. Or there are things people are not happy about. And that becomes a prejudice against you. Mm -hmm. Becomes what they, they will profile you about. But God knew why he was creating you. When he allowed those things to be in you, it was deliberate by God. Mm -hmm. It was not an error. It was not a mistake. You are not a mistake. You are not an error. God allowed those things to be there because he will use it one day. Mm -hmm. He will use those qualities one day. To bring glory to his name. I do not know where. It might even be where perhaps you, 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 you were not known. Or it might be in where you were rejected. But somehow, those that rejected you, 
a day will come they will hear of the great things God has done in your life. Amen. 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 Verse 3. Then Japhtha, Japhtha fled from his brethren and dwelt in the land of Tob. And there was gathered vain men to Japhtha and went out with him. And it came to pass in the process of time that the children of Ammon made war against Israel. Mm. Now, why Japhtha was thrown away, driven away, everything looked rosy. Israel was at peace. The community drove him away. But the word of God says in verse 4, And it came to pass in the process of time. Now, circumstance is about to change. Mm -hmm. I pray in your life that circumstances should start changing. Amen. If you are in good circumstances, I pray your circumstances uh, be, be established and, and be permanent. Mm -hmm. But those that are circumstances are not favoring, I pray that in the, right now that your circumstances will start changing. Amen. In the process of time, the children of Ammon, the enemies of Israel, they came and attacked them. It was not Japhtha that asked them to come. It looks like as if it was a coincidence. But uh, the entire world is in God's palm. Mm -hmm. He holds the world in his palm. Mm -hmm. He holds the world in his palm. I tell you, the wind does not blow except the Lord grant his consent. Mm -hmm. The sun does not arise except the omnipotent granted consent. Mm -hmm. Nothing happened on this earth except the Lord allows it. is aware of everything. Even the microorganisms, which no eyes can see, which are buried in the earth inside the soil, which no eyes can see or anything can reach, God knows every one of them. Yes. He knows every one of them. He is not a man, neither should we attribute the qualities or the limitation of man unto is far above and beyond yes. our widest imagination. Amen. It surpasses it. Mm -hmm. So that is what happened. War came to Israel, verse 5. And it was so that when the children of Ammon made war against Israel, the elders of Gilead went to fetch Japhtah, Japhtah out of the land of Tob. And they said unto Japhtah, Come and be our captain. This is the son of a prostitute, the son of an harlot that could not even inherit his father's inheritance because they said he was not worthy. But now, situation has changed. It's not an essential commodity. Mm -hmm. I declare that you shall become an essential commodity. Amen. You shall become precious in the eyes of men. Mm -hmm. You shall become precious in the eyes of, of all those that rejected you. Amen. They will come and see the, 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 the value that God has placed in you. Amen. They saw the value in him. And six, and they said unto Jephthah, come and be our captain, that we may fight with the children of Ammon. And Jephthah said unto the elders of Gilead, did not ye hate me? And they spared me out of my father's house. And why are ye come unto me now? When ye are in distress. And the elders of Gilead said unto Jephthah, Therefore we turn again to thee now, that thou mayest go with us and fight against the children of Ammon, and be our head over all the inhabitants of Gilead. Mm -hmm. They were telling him, You now come and become our king, come and become our head. Circumstances brought validity and value to Jephthah. Mm -hmm. If those circumstances, God had not allowed those circumstances, he would have been an exile all his life. Mm -hmm. He would never have fulfilled his life. Mm -hmm. He would never have self-actualized. His life would never have, have had a meaning. All these years, maybe from his birth, he has been asking questions. Mm -hmm. But finally, God made the circumstance to happen for him to not come and see all the why, 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 why. He has been asking and no one was able to give him an answer. All of a sudden, it became very clear mm -hmm. that God has allowed this entire things to happen because he wanted to make him a head. Mm -hmm. May God make you a head. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 
where you have been rejected, I declare that you shall become a head. Amen. Put your trust in God. Time and chances happen. It is God that orders it. He's the one that makes things to change. He's the one that makes things to happen. He, brings, he can bring one down and lift up another. He can sustain one there and that one remains there. Mm -hmm. He told David, your kingdom shall be forever. Mm -hmm. Whereas the kingdom of Saul, he went up and he came down. Mm -hmm. But that of David, God said, it shall be forever more. Yes. So God can bring one down and lift another up. And he, he has the power to keep you in that exalted place for eternity. Amen. Not only you, even your children's children. Mm -hmm. So we see also in the book of Psalm 118, verse 22 to 23. Psalm 118, 22 to 23. The rejected stone, our Lord in, in the flesh, Jesus Christ, he quoted this very verse. We are going to look at now. 22 and 23. Psalm 118 said, The stone which the builders refused is become the head stone of the corner. The rejected stone mm -hmm. is now the head stone of the corner. The head stone of the corner. The, when you are about to build a house in the time past, you look for a very strong rock. A very strong rock. A, a, not just an ordinary stone, a very strong rock, and you place it in the earth. And you now build the entire building around that rock. Because that rock is immovable. Mm -hmm. That rock cannot be moved. So you put that rock there. That rock becomes the head corner stone. Mm -hmm. It becomes the strength of the entire house. Just like Jesus Christ is the head corner stone. Is unmovable, upon which every believer is anchored to. Mm. So he said, the stone which the builders, re they rejected that stone. Maybe it was ugly. Maybe it was rough. It wasn't fitting their own specification. Listen, God did not create you to fit the specification of any man, but he has made you to be unique. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. He has made you to be unique. You are who you are by the grace and power of God. God has a purpose concerning your life. Amen. And when that purpose is revealed, men will see value in you. Amen. See men that are prestigious, they have money. It looks like I see they don't have fault. Everybody is they, they, they are blinded to their fault. When your time comes, men will be blinded to your fault. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. That is it. Now, how does this happen in verse 23? He said, this is the Lord's doing. It is only God that can make a rejected stone to be celebrated. Mm -hmm. Man can do it. Demons can do that. He said, this is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. Yes. Your case shall be the Lord's doing. Amen. And men shall marvel. So, it is where I want us to pray our prayers around. Today, in any level, in any uh, 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 way, you are being rejected. Brother and sisters, brothers and sisters, I just ask you to continually put your trust on God. Mm -hmm. The circumstance that will bring validity, that will bring value and worth unto you, it is coming. Amen. Amen. Three, four months ago, things were quite different. At the turn of this year, no one ever dreamt the things that have happened in the last three months will ever happen. Mm -hmm. No one ever knew some industries will crumble. Some of those ind industries, they were in billions. No one ever knew that some industries will spring up and become billions. Even the ordinary industry doing hand sanitizer, mm -hmm. industry is doing face masks. That nobody ever thought about. I've not heard of it. Face mask? For what? Hand sanitizer? For what? They are nine billions. Mm -hmm. In less than three months, all of a sudden, they now have importance. Whereas those ones that were mega billionaires, 
the airline industries, the constructors of, of aircraft, all of them crumbled. Mm -hmm. Some even closing in three months. Circumstances. The circumstances that turns the table around. Mm -hmm. And circumstances are in the palm of the omnipotent. Amen. It's in the palm of the almighty God. Amen. The sovereign God. The one that decides our future. Yes. The one that decides our destiny. Yes. Amen. Amen. The book of Isaiah chapter 53. Oh, it's such an awesome, awesome thing. It's, in fact, it gives me a lot of joy. It gives me a lot of joy that God is in control. Amen. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 3 says, I'll read. Talking about Jesus Christ, he said, He is despised and rejected of men. So Jesus Christ was despised and rejected of men. He was despised and rejected of men. This was a prophecy. Now when Jesus stood before Pontius Pilate, Jesus and the murderer, and Pontius Pilate asked the people that have eaten bread from him, people that have eaten fishes from his hands, people he has hid, people he has made their sights to come back, people he has made to walk, people he has given his life to. When Pontius Pilate asked them, who do you choose? They said they chose a murderer. He was rejected of men. Was rejected of men. He that will bring salvation to all mankind. He that will make the entire nature to change. He was rejected of men. But he became the head cornerstone. Amen. Amen. The world has hope today because of Jesus Christ. Yes. The world is, it, 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 it has a future today because of Jesus Christ. Amen. Because he is the one that sustains the entire creation with the power of the word of his mouth. Yes. The omnipotent God. Luke chapter 23 verse 21 says, He was rejected of men. They said crucify him. We want nothing to do with him. Get him away. Go kill him. And indeed, they crucified him. Yeah. The rejected stone, the work of God, he turned the table around and he made that same Jesus Christ to become Lord and Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To become Lord and Christ. That was the word of Apostle Peter to the head of the Israel, to the leaders in Acts chapter 2 verse 36. He said, that same God, that same Christ, that same man you rejected, that same stone, God made him to be Lord Amen. and Christ. Amen. That same rejected stone became the head cornerstone. Mm -hmm. The word of God says in Psalm 118, verse 23, that it is the Lord's doing. It is him that can make the rejected stone to become a head cornerstone. Yes. It is he that made the son of a prostitute to become the head of his own land. Mm -hmm. It is him that made the one that was rejected after 40 years to come back and be the rescuer. Mm -hmm. The same God will make you that was thrown away, you that was classified as the black sheep, you that was counted as not, the same God will make you to become celebrated. Mm -hmm. Where they have intended for you to fall, where they have intended for you to be disgraced, Amen. shall become your entrumment center. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It is him that has got that power. So brothers and sisters, that is the prayer we're going to pray today. That you will turn your vulnerability to become strength. Amen. You make all things to now work for your favor. Even the rain will fall for your favor. Amen. The sun will shine for your favor. Mm -hmm. Help us that you never knew existed. They will come out from the four winds of the earth and the Lord will order their steps into your life. A man that thought he inherited a desolate land, a land that nothing can be planted on, 
Even though he had the land he inherited, he was very poor. Only for after much, the Lord turned it around. Vehicles were not being manufactured. And vehicles needed petroleum. And research was done. On that very land that has made him a poor man, the poorest in the society, that land oil was discovered in Texas. And he became one of the richest men that has ever lived. God made the rejected stone the come head cornerstone. That shall be your portion. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, I just want us to come together. Wherever you are, you want to stand up, you want to sit down, you want to go on your knees. It's all about you and your circumstances. It might be you are praying this prayer for a loved one, a child, a husband, wife, friend that has been rejected. It looks like circumstances upon circumstances upon circumstances. They are all working against this one. The Lord will make a circumstance to yet come up. This one will be the favorable one. And it shall usher him the glory that the enemy has held back over the years. That's why we put our confidence in him. And I want us to sing that song again. Because it gives me a lot of confidence and strength in him. I have confidence in you, Jesus. I have confidence in you, Savior. Savior. I have confidence in you. It's already a prayer. Just sing it. Sing that song. It's already a prayer. You're already praying with this song, with this worship song. And I want you to appreciate God. Say, so let's come into His presence with worship. Let's come into His presence with thanksgivings. Let's come into His, pre into His presence with appreciation for the multitude and myriad of things the living God has done. Even before now, He has kept you to this day. He has not allowed you to sleep and not wake up. He yet put food on your table. Whatever the circumstance, the basic things of life, the Lord continue to provide. Open your mouth and thank Him. Open your mouth and appreciate Him. Awesome God, marvelous God. Father, oh Lord, even when we have been faithless, You have been faithful unto us. You have not allowed us, oh Lord, to be consumed. Father, You have not allowed us to sleep with an empty stomach. We were sick, oh Lord, and You hid us. Father, you made us to go out and to come in in, in, in victory. You have not allowed us to be counted among the numbers of those that are no more. Father, we have confidence in you. We come to appreciate you. Not only have you done this for us, you did it for our loved ones. You did it for our people. You granted us peace upon this land. And indeed upon every land where your people abide. It is you, O oh Lord, that has made these things possible. You are our strength. You are our shield. You are our buckler. We have no power of our own. It is in you we put our trust. Thank you, Lord, for you have never failed us. And you will never fail. We have confidence in you. We come to thank you. Receive our thanksgivings. Receive our worship. Receive our appreciation. Father, from a willing heart, O oh Lord, 
with a broken heart and a contrite spirit, we come unto you. Father, we declare that we have confidence in you. Just open your mouth and let him know that you trust him. Let him know that you trust him. You have heard the word of God that has elevated your spirit and your faith. Let the Lord know that you trust him, that he will do what he says he will do. He will do everything we have heard here today, that he will turn the rejected stone to become a head corner stone. Your case shall never be different. Open your mouth and declare, my case shall not be different. As you did it, O Lord, in your world, Father, even so, you will do in my case. Amen. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, my God, I have confidence in you. You are the God that never rejects your people. Father, you have never rejected your people. Your word says the abandoned stone, the rejected stone, has become the head corner stone. This is the working of God. It is you alone that is able to do this. Father, oh Lord, we have been rejected in one way or the other. We have been classed as the black sheep. We are the ones, oh Lord, that is always on the receiving end. We, oh Lord, we feel weak. We feel left behind. We feel rejected. We feel, oh Lord, that the, the good things happening around us, it, 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 we are not being given out of it. Father, we have been rejected. Oh, Father, we come unto you. You are the one, oh Lord, that has the power. You turn the son of a prostitute to become a head in Israel. You are the one, oh Lord, that turned the life of Jabez around. You turned the life of Jacob to become a prince, even Israel. You turned the rejected Moses to become the savior of the Israelites from Egypt. Father, even Joseph that was cast away, Father, you made him, oh Lord, to become the savior of the world. Father, what can you not do? Lord Jesus, you remain the same. The people rejected you. You, Lord, they rejected. Oh, my God, you are the Savior of all mankind. The ones that rejected you, you became their Savior. Awesome God, it is only you that can do this. And yet you, are, you continue to do your great works. Father, we bring every one of us, as we pray right now, everyone that will be left behind, Everyone that be rejected, everyone, oh Lord, that could not struggle because they don't have the strength of other ones. They could not struggle to get the good things of life. Father, they look up to you. You continue to provide for the best of the air. They sow not, neither do they toil. But my Lord, you continue to provide for them. You have dressed the limits of the field, even more gorgeous than Solomon. Father, don't bless we which you have made your own image. You will not forget your people. You delivered us, O oh Lord, with the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, you will not forget us. Lord, the abandoned stone, that one that has been rejected, that one has been forgotten by the society, by their family, in their marriages, in relationship, in their workplace, some, their promotion, they have thrown away the fire. They are not even considering them for promotion, for elevation. But my Lord, you are the one that has the power. You are the one that has the authority to turn circumstances around. Father, let every circumstance that has been working against your people, let it turn around right now. In the name of Jesus, I want to start praying. Every circumstances that has been working against me, against my destiny, that has not made my soul to arise and shine. Father, let that circumstance, let it turn around. Open your mouth and start praying. Every circumstances that has not favored me, that has not made the world to behold my worth and value. Father, let that circumstance, let it die. And let a new circumstance, let it arise. In the name of Jesus, Father, turn the table around, turn the circumstance around. We have to have ordained for your children to fall. We have to have ordained for your children to be disgraced. Father, let it become a center of entrollment. Let it become Gion. Let it become Gion, the center of entrollment, where your people shall be celebrated, where their works shall come forth and speak forth on their behalf. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth. Wherever they have ordained for you to fall, wherever they have ordained for you to be disgraced, wherever they have ordained for you to die, Lord, let's pray, Father, let it become the center of entrollment where you shall be lifted up. 
where you shall be celebrated, where you shall receive, yes, yeah, abundant life, where you shall receive glory according to his, to, to his will concerning your life. Open your mouth and pray. Even when that time comes, your enemies themselves, they will celebrate you. Your enemies themselves, they will live at peace with you. They themselves will declare that there is a living God through that sister, through that brother, through that child. I now see there is a sovereign God who abides in heaven, who is in total control of all realms, of all spheres, of the entire earth. They themselves will declare and acknowledge that God is for you, that God is omnipotent, that God is sovereign, because he has done great and marvelous things in your life. Open your mouth, Father, wherever they have been ordained for me to fall, wherever they have set any hold or trap against me, Lord, let it become my center of enthronement. Let it become where I shall be lifted up, where, oh God, your glory will come upon my life. Then in the name of Jesus, Put your mouth and pray. What can the Lord not do? What can He not do? This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Everywhere we step this, the feet of this, this, this sole of our feet, the Lord says we shall take possession. Anywhere you step the sole of your feet, the Lord has declared and ordained it that it shall become your possession. You shall be celebrated in that place. Now pray, Father, where my feet is right now, let me be celebrated. Open your mouth and pray. If it's not this place, then Lord, order my feet, order my steps into that place where I shall be celebrated. Open your mouth and pray. Father, where I am right now, because your word has said, anywhere I step the sole of my feet, I shall possess. It means I shall be recognized in that place. I shall be celebrated. Men and women will rally around me. Father, let your word, let it come to pass now. Let it manifest. For you are the God that honors your word, even above all creation. Father, let your word manifest. If this place is not where you have ordained for me to possess and for me to be celebrated, then Lord, order my steps to that very place. Which, O oh Lord, you have ordained for me, O oh Lord, to be celebrated, for me, O oh Lord, to receive the recognition of heaven and the earth. Open your mouth and pray. It's the God that is able to do it. As you pray for yourself, pray for your loved ones, pray for children, pray for spouses, pray for relations, pray for your people, pray for your church. For the word of God says, the rejected stone shall become the head cornerstone. Christ global gospel ministry that men have turned their back to because of the true word of God. Pray shall become the head cornerstone. Men shall behold the word of God and it shall manifest and speak forth. It shall not lie. It shall not tarry. In the process of time, the word of God upon Christ global gospel ministry shall manifest. For the entire world to know that God is sovereign. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Awesome God, we declare your glory. We declare your glory. We thank you, O Lord. Let your word, let it manifest. Let your word come to pass. Let it come to pass. Let your word come to pass. Every black sheep, every rejected stone, everyone, O Lord, that has been afflicted, everyone that has been taken to the back, Everyone that they have said, who is this one? Where will this one ever make it? Lord, turn the circumstance around. Let conditions change. Let the situation change. Turn everything around, O oh Lord. Let time and season now work for their favor. Let their time come. Take them to that place. Lead your people into that place, O oh Lord, where they shall be recognized, where they shall be accepted, where they shall be celebrated. Father, take your people there. In the name of Jesus, where God has ordained for you, you will not struggle for recognition. God will make people to recognize you. Even your sight will bring joy to people. Even your sight will bring peace to people. And they will say there is something about that man. There is something about that woman. It is when we are in the wrong place. It is when we are in the wrong circumstance. Things look difficult. Because God never dies. Neither does he lie. When you are in the right place, 
when your circumstances are now in your favor, even your sight is enough for people to declare that there is a living God. Awesome God, we worship you. We worship you, dear Father. We bless your name, O oh Lord. Just to pray a matter and pray. Awesome God, we thank you. Thank you, thank you, Father. You are able to do all things. You are able to do all things. Marvelous God, we thank you. Blessed be thy name. I want us to pray for someone who right now is in a kind of statement. It's in a kind of statement. The enemy wants to hold this one in this position. Let us pray that every rope, every chase that have tied this one from going forward, every drop, every bondage that have held this one, every evil hands, every evil unity, holding this one in this position. Let us pray that the thunder of the Holy Ghost will strike and destroy. He has scattered them into a repairable pieces yes. and devoured them to artists. Yes. Open your mouth. Father, we pray for this sister. Every evil hand upon her life that is holding her back from fulfilling destiny. We pray, oh Lord, every chance of hell that has held this one back from delivering, from fulfilling destiny. Awesome God, I pray, oh Lord, let your fire be released from heaven and let it destroy every evil hand, every evil gathering against this one, every rope that has been used to tie this one. Father, let them be cut asunder in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, O oh Lord, let there be, O oh Lord, a provocation in the heavens and let it discomfit every evil gathering function against this one in the name of Jesus. In the presence of our enemies, Father, deliver your daughter. Prove your name mighty. Let the glory come to you alone. Let it happen today. Let it happen today. In the name of Jesus, I pray for fire and brick stones to rain down. Oh, Father, like in the day of Sodom and Gomorrah, upon every enemy fashion against this one. Every evil eyes that are open against this one, I command them shut. Every evil ears fashion against this one, I command them dumb. Deafness. Let deafness come upon them. Every tongue that are risen against this one, Father, I bring them under judgment. The judgment of God. Let them be roasted, even by a fire. In the name of Jesus. You are the consuming fire. Lord, let every evil one fashion against this one. Fashion against the progress of this one. Let them be roasted. Amen. Father, your church prays. Your people from the four winds of the earth. We all agree, Lord, that this sister will be set forth from bondage. Amen. That she will deliver Amen. spontaneously Amen. and immediately. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Wonderful Father. You will take no permission from no man. Father, we stand upon the risen name of Christ Jesus. We come to proclaim your glory against the princes of Persia in Manchester. We come to proclaim your glory against the kingdom of darkness in Manchester or from any part of the earth. Father, as we lift up your name, let every other name power Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let them, O oh Lord, give way yes. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let your fire precede you. Yes. Let your fire go ahead of you. Yes. Let your angels with chance of fire Amen. descend upon the earth Amen. and bring to captivity every captive, yes. everyone that has had your children yes. in captivity. Yes. Father, we set them loose. Amen. We set this sister loose. Amen. We set our circumstances loose Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Set our table in the presence of our enemies. Yes, Let the glory come. Let the testimony come. Let the thanksgiving come unto you that you have done it again. In the name of Jesus. We declare, Lord, that this shall become a source of thanksgiving unto your great name. This one shall not die, but she shall live. Everything about her shall blossom and shall be according to your will. In the name of Jesus. Now let's bring the house of God before you, before God. Christ will put God's spirit ministry. And indeed, all ministries, all churches that the Lord has ordained, that are doing the will of God, let us pray that the strength of God will increase. Amen. That the will of God will increase. 
that the Lord will make us to become effective and effectual in the spirit and physical realm. That the Lord will grant us His divine option. That as we declare, the Lord will establish. Open your mouth and start praying. Awesome God, we bring your church before you. Christ Global Gospel Ministry worldwide, and indeed all churches, all places of worship, which we have ordained, Lord Jesus, which is for your glory alone. Which of Lord, you have already ordained to be. Father, I pray, may your power, O oh Lord, may increase among us in Jesus' name. Let your word prevail. Let your anointing speak forth. That which you have declared in the secret realm. Father, let it manifest in the physical realm. Let it, O oh Lord, be established in a broad place. In the name of Jesus. Let every of your word that you have released upon us. Let it, O oh Lord, let it manifest in Jesus' name. Grant us your divine portion. That as we declare, Lord, let it be established. Let the elements and the powers of darkness, may they give heed unto every declaration that we declare from our mouth. In the name of Jesus. Father, we shall not decrease, but we shall increase. We shall fulfill destiny. Even by the power of the Holy Ghost. Your angels will partner with us. Your Holy Ghost shall be our companion. Even our leader. Our shepherd. Thank you, thank you, Father. For my Lord, your church is not the building. Neither the chairs. But your sons and daughters who are brought together in your name. We pray this prayer unto every member. And members of their family. Father, we pray that it shall be well with them. Amen. We pray, O oh Lord, they shall flourish. Amen. Like the palm tree, like a tree planted by the rivers of waters. They shall never wither, Amen. but they shall be evergreen, producing fruits and different fruits every month of the year. Amen. Even so shall be the apostle in the name of Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Father. Let us pray for ourselves. Your prayer request. Just to put your mouth and pray. Pray, pray, pray. For even Praying is already a step of faith. So do not be tired in praying. Open your mouth and call upon God. What can you not do? Our own is to pray. It is God that gives us consent. Pray. And God will do more than you think is possible. Awesome God, our lives are in your hand. Health is wet. Father, grant us good health. Grant us, O oh Lord, a sound mind and a good head. Prosper us in every goodness, not only in riches, but in everything of life. May we flourish and prosper in education, in family, in health, in psychology, in our mind. Father, may we prosper and may everything work for us in ministry, upon our land. Father, O oh Lord, may we prosper. Among our neighbors, Father, let there be prosperity. We pray, O oh Lord, for a total prosperity. You are the God that blesses and you add no sorrows. It is your blessings we need. It is your prosperity we need. Not as the word given. The, the prosperity that comes from you, you add your peace upon, upon it. Let your peace be our portion. It is your peace we need, O oh Lord. Let it be upon us, upon our people. Even down to the, the things we possess. Let peace come upon them all. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. For as you blessed Abraham, you blessed the handmaids and the maid servants that he had. You blessed even his flocks. Father, you bless his lands. Bless us in every way, dear Lord. Use us to reveal how wonderful you are to the entire world. Use us to reveal Christ Jesus for all mankind to behold. Use us, O oh Lord, to publish Jesus Christ for all men to see that is an awesome God. Thank you for your power to save. Thank you for the, your power to turn the entire creation around. Thank you, Lord, for you alone has all the power, dominion, and sovereignty even forevermore. We worship you for who you are. You are the self-made God. 
But the creator of all other gods, the creator of all other circumstances, the creator of all other beings in the spirit and in the physical realm, all are accountable to you. All are answerable unto you. At the mention of your name, everyone shall bow. And every tongue shall confess that you alone are God. I declare your name, Jesus Christ, over all my brethren. Amen. Over every one of us. Amen. Over this home. Over your church. Over this land. Thank you, thank you, Father. You are awesome and glorious. And there's no like unto you. Thank you for hearing our prayers. Thank you for granting your consent. I cover every prayer we pray today with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Father. Receive all the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless God, brothers and sisters. It has been a wonderful time. In fact, I even forgot the time. Bless God that we yet are able to wrap it up in good time. Thank God for your life. Thank God for your loved ones. Thank God for what God is about to do. Amen. We know that all things work together for the good of those that love God. Amen. And for the good of those that are called according to his purpose. It is well with you. Amen. It is well with your family. Yes. On Friday, just hook up again by half six. We'll be having a wonderful time studying and analyzing God's word. And we are trusting the Holy Ghost that will give us understanding that day. And give us the living word of God. Yes. So tune in. And I know that the key to every situation in your life. The Lord will personally grant it to you Amen. in that day in Jesus' name. Amen. So stay safe and stay well. God is for you. And all things are possible for you. Yes. Remain blessed forevermore. Amen. I cover your life, Lord of Jesus. Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.